and all, welcome to Seen Through Glass, and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. I've kind of lost track as to which day of Vlogmas it is, but anyway, I'm just going with the flow. You may have seen that yesterday on Instagram and Twitter, etc., I officially launched the STG shop. I've never really done or had any kind of merchandise, any Seen Through Glass merchandise until now. I feel like I've kind of done it properly. I've teamed up with a great company to produce some really high quality, well-made stuff. I've kept it super simple. It's stuff which I would wear or would want to wear because in case no one else wanted to wear it, at least I had lots of t-shirts and hoodies and beanies to wear. Uh, so if you go to seenthroughglass.com, there's a big link to the STG shop. You can click on that. One thing to say is if you are looking to get something pre-Christmas, orders have to be in by 15th of December. Anyway, that's kind of like, you know, Vlogmas admin done. What are we doing today? Today, I'm off to somewhere called Bell Classics. They are a Ferrari specialist. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And a friend of mine has recently started working with Bell Classics. So, he sent me a message and said, do you want to come and hang out, look at some amazing Ferraris, and just chat Ferraris and be around Ferraris? And I went, yes. Yes, that sounds amazing. So I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do when we get there, but I've seen some pictures of the place. It looks amazing, and I'm excited just to hang around with Ferraris. I have massively underestimated this place. I think maybe I was missold it by my friend Matt. So this is Bell Classics, and it's not just a Ferrari specialist. They specialize in a huge number of things. The cars that are lurking around here are ridiculous. I'm about to get a tour from Mass of the entire place. As you can see, there's a 4.30 challenge now parked outside. I was told to move my van. It's now stuck in the back behind a Dino and a 355 Spider. That's how crazy this is. Things are always moving, things are always going on, and there were just mad cars parked everywhere. So I'm gonna go inside, find Mass, get the tour, and hopefully show you guys how incredible this new Bell Classic setup really is. This is where the magic happens, as you say. So, just there casually is a 250 GTO engine. <laughs> well, I already love this place so much. Okay. <laughs> this, this is just, we are mostly specialized in Astons and Ferraris. Okay. And this thing is just lovely. This is an original DB4 GT, green on green, lovely specification, late 50s car. You have to understand that these were out before the 250 GTOs. These were lovely. This cars. is a race car or this is a road car? These were race cars with the gentleman's leather Connolly interior. Beautiful. This car raced Amazing. at one point in its life. Wow. And the value of something like this these days? Somewhere between two to three million pounds. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Dino, lovely car going through a light restoration. Light, light, light restoration? No, actually, this is not what a nut and bolt would be for us. Really? I'll show you a nut and bolt later. Yeah, this is a light repaint, and our head technician, Atilio, is going through suspension, engine, paint, everything's fitted back as it should. New tires, brakes. Pa paint does look amazing. I'm assuming you know where all these parts go. Yes. <laughs> no, wow, and this is the interior? Original interior. Wow, Marallion brown on brown. brown. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right-hand drive. So that's a brave decision, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Imagine with, that. With yellow paint and a brown interior. Yeah. <laughs> in the 70s in Britain. Oh my God, yeah, amazing. It's unbelievable. Yeah, GB6 parts here, Ferrari 330 GTC mm -hmm. parts, 
We try to stock up on the parts and we try to label them so we know, so no Do you have happen. any 360 challenge to Dali parts here? We have a whole car. <laughs> <laughs> you have Nate here, who's our engine man. Wow, wow, wow. Hi, man. How are you doing? You good? Yeah. What's going on? Are you just polishing up? Um, we've got some paint adhesion problems inside of here, so oh. we are removing what's in there and replacing it with oh. new stuff. This is a normal DB4, as you can see. Okay. Oh, okay. So that's headlights. The, yeah. That's obvious, most that's, obvious way. Yeah, that's Between the, the different headlights, you can actually see there to there. So this is the little... Oh my god, this... You know what? I feel like we're walking into a barn fire. Yeah, Do you know? Yeah, like, yeah. I literally feel like we're going to uncover... Or it's actually, in, an, in other words, it's how these cars should be preserved in this sort of red covers. It's you know, so in a more cool. rural environment. Yeah, this yeah. looks amazing. Yeah. We have a 512BB right-hand drive, wow. one of 101, wow. lovely wow. car. These are very different intakes though, right? Yeah, so this has an LM specification, so this car is probably a good 60 horsepower more back then. Back then, okay. don't fall down. Don't fall down. Don't fall down. Yeah, so back then. So this car is more powerful. It was originally um, a London Motor Show car in the late 70s. This car was part of a lot of three cars okay. of an ex-teammate uh, of Niki Lauda. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So lovely This is car amazing. Car. This is so cool. Yeah, yeah. You can see all through in here as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. This is our future workshop space. You're okay. going to have six lifts in here. Uh, we need the additional space. We have so much work right now. And can I ask what that is? <laughs> because what is You're it? talking about an empty workshop yeah. and basically we didn't have that much space so we had to just chuck the 250 gto so what anyway, what is this actually this is it's so a buck could, it's a buck this is how the metal work is so you can shaped. make a body you can make a 250 yeah. gto body yeah whoever is making a body today is using some sort of buck and put it over an mr2 yeah, it's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah come on let's do it Matt. honda yeah <laughs> that is Amazing. incredible these are all the laser points wow so that you get a full laser digital i would just keep that why is that not in your front room would have it in my living room. It's amazing. But then you wouldn't give it any like love. It needs to be in its environment. It was a race car. <music> so this is an original Daytona right-hand drive uh, plexi. If everyone <laughs> wants to try to understand what plexi is. Where it simply means you have a plexi cover up front instead of the pop up headlights. Because you do see that a lot of people getting really overexcited yeah. when it's shut that door. Yeah. Um, about the sort of plexi. Uh, are they rarer, the, the plexis? Yes, they are. Okay, fine. So yeah. they fetch Early usually cars. a higher, yeah. higher value. And it, especially a right hand drive in this combination. And this is a 330 GT Series 1. And this car is getting, let's say, very close to a nut and bolt restoration. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is really like stripped right back, everything's checked, everything's. This has been resprayed. Most components have been covered. The interior may be upholstered. It depends. It's very preserved. It's all okay. there. It's yeah, all yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you basically just inspect over everything, work out what needs to be. Yeah. In in the case of this interior, nowadays Ferrari Classique believe that you should preserve an interior if it's in good condition. So that's what we're trying to do. Wow. Okay, we've moved up to the main showroom now, which as you can see, there are three incredible cars in this 330 GTC I love. Looks super purposeful, 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 lack of coffee, purposeful and elegant, but also you've got to check out this DB5, fully restored by the guys here at Bell. The paint is liquid. This looks like a brand new car, but it was made in 1965. However, the car that we really want to show you, both Mass and I, in this room, is this 330 in the corner? This is our lovely 1965 330 GT Series 1. Like the car you saw in the restoration room, this is a lovely car that was previously owned by a, a lady racer. For all of you that would not think that that's the case, it was owned by a lady who was named Patsy Bird. She used to hill climb, race her McLaren race car, and this was her daily driver. And no, this is not resprayed. This is the original color. This wow. is how the car was delivered. We have, of course, resprayed it, but we haven't changed it, and it's in its original specification how she ordered it, and it's just, it's perfect in every way. Very unusual, and we have full documentation about this car. This lady would drive her Ferrari, and she, she found that uh, she had an issue on a hill climb, and the car 
had one wheel spinning in the air while one was gripping and she sent a document to Ferrari saying why does she not have a limited slip differential. This was a lady racer, an older lady, and she used this car and loved it. And we acquired it and did a full nut and bolt restoration on it. Now, if the tour hasn't been epic enough, I'm actually about to go out in one of the cars they have down here at Bell. This little Lotus Elan is gonna be our ride. This is Matt, CTO of Bell. So I'm gonna try and jump in the pretty minuscule passenger seat. We're gonna go for a quick lap in the local area. All right, is that a seat? No. no. Cool. Grow some balls. Yeah. <laughs> Does sound good though, doesn't it? This car hasn't been driven for 30 years. It hasn't been driven for 30 years. This thing is wicked though. That's right. This is so cool. Of all the cars that I've just walked around and seen, I didn't necessarily think we'd be going out in this, but I'm secretly quite happy that this is the one we're doing. Oh man, thank you so much for having me down today. It's been, right. it's been awesome. Now, how long have you been open now? The company's been open since 89. Okay. We've been on this site uh, eight months. Eight months, okay, amazing. Yeah, Mass is very good at the sales rep, spangle and bangle, but misses out some of the key, uh, key info. and say that this day has been miles better than I thought it would be. Obviously great to catch up with Mass and I knew it would be a bit of fun but I've been blown away by the stuff here and then going out in that little land to finish things off. What if that in London I think would be the dream. It's like my 695 Apostle on steroids but anyway super cool amazing stuff hanging around everywhere. The guys are now <laughs> lifting car covers out of the van so the van was useful. Um, I'm gonna wrap things up I've got to head back drop the Morgan off and then go uh, keep unpacking Ikea. That's gonna be a, a theme for the next month really unpacking Ikea flat pack furniture. Did we see that 550 earlier? Not sure. Anyway Bell Classics they're gonna grow. Are you guys on social have you got Instagram and Twitter pages and stuff? Yeah, yeah Bell Classics. Bell. Bell bell.classics I'll put all the information below to the social media you can check them out there hope you guys have enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you have and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come